2010 has been a very productive year for the Bob Barker. We've had a huge support from our hardworking volunteer crew. We've had great support from Hobart, Melbourne, and all the onshore people all around the world. The, the crew that we've got on this the, this year is, but has performed outstandingly. Like they've really worked their fingers down to the bone. I can't give them high enough praise. You know, the ship, ship has literally been transformed um, before my eyes. In the commercial world, I've never really come across a, a bunch of crew who were so willing and so eager to, to get a job done. I've sailed with a lot of different people, but there's not a crew that I would prefer to go to Antarctica with than the, the Sea Shepherd crews I've met. Uh, the people on the Bob Barker here, and I, and I guess on the other Sea Shepherd vessels as well, um, get along quite well because we're all here for the same reasons. I was I'm really happy about what Sea Shepherd is doing because God, God knows I've been fighting for this 10 years ago. Very proud to say I made the first Ghanaian to go to Antarctica. And the fact of the matter is it's all well and good to sit in an office and try to think of ways that we can sort this out diplomatically but at the end of the day all those things don't matter to the whales if there is going to be a moment when a harpoon vessel is charging down on them in the middle of the southern ocean and none of those meetings will matter, none of those discussions will matter, the only moment that will matter for those animals is that second when a harpoon vessel is over them about to pull that trigger and that's the moment that I want to be there. So the crew is obviously a very central part of Sea Shepherd, but it's not just the people on the boat, it's the people onshore volunteering and our fabulous donors who make this possible. Without sort of dedicated um, volunteers that, you know, both on, on board the ship and on the shore, there's no way we would have got this vessel. I'm confident that Operation No Compromise is going to be the strongest Sea Shepherd campaign to date. We're going down there with three ships this year and I'm very confident that we're going to be able to save more whales than ever. If we keep this pressure up year after year after year and, and the costs rise, it, it will come to a tipping point where, where their government, the Japanese government, is going to have to really seriously look at it and say this is costing us so much money and we're not getting anything out of it. We're going to have a big impact on them this year. and. Um, if we can get on, we'll get onto them early and uh, we have the ability to stay with them for a long time and that's going to, we're hoping to see a zero, zero catch.